What's up guys and welcome back to Software Knowledge Solutions and today we're talking about Call of Duty Warzone 2.0 Season 1. Now ladies and gentlemen, I'm just going to go ahead and show you something over here. I'm going to go ahead and type in Call of Duty Warzone 2 or you can type in Call of Duty Warzone 2.0 System Requirements. Now this has been posted 4 days ago. Now it says you need 12 gigs of RAM, meaning random access memory, not your VRAM on your graphics card, all right? Then a graphics card of a GTX 1060 or an AMD Radeon RX 580 with obviously DirectX 12. Now, 100%, I can tell you that this is absolute fucking garbage bullshit. Google's lying to you. I can tell you that right now. Then a lot of people has gone to go and click on this page over here, which was posted six days ago, which is minimum specs. And let me just go ahead and show you this. This is the minimum specifications that they require or they tell you to use. Now, a lot of people are going to go onto these websites and they're going to be like, okay, let me go buy this type of machine and I should be able to go ahead and play this game perfectly fine on minimum, you know, quality and stuff like that. No, that's absolute bullshit. This, you will not even be able to do, I don't know, 30 FPS with this type of machine there's no way in hell there are people out there that's running these specifications that's not even getting 80 frames a second with this game right now at this very moment this game's absolutely fucked and i can be honest with you guys and the right now at this very moment 90 percent of the community that's playing call of duty warzone 2.0 do not have these type of machines so i don't know what they were trying what the developers were doing i don't know if they were smoking cocaine or something before they made this game or while developing the game itself because it's going to take them a very long time to get the game to where it's supposed to be like warzone 1 now i feel it's very unfair for the people out there that's running lower end machines stuff like this or even just stuff like this i feel it's very very, very unfair to the people that's running machines like this. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just going to show you right now at this very moment what is the best settings you can use for Call of Duty Warzone 2.0 to get a smooth, stable frame rate. Now, your game isn't going to look beautiful, but the reason why I'm using these settings at this very moment, I'm just going to show you, the reason why I'm using these settings at this very moment is because I get a stable frame rate and my gameplay feels really well. It feels good while playing. It's not stuttering. It's not, you know, for instance, the game's smoothness is really well played off while having these settings now these are the settings that i'm using currently i'm just going to go ahead and show you i'm going to go to graphics over here and then go to quality now i have my resolution at my monitor's render resolution and then i have this over here which is this and i have it at 75. i have this over here just to make my game look a little bit slightly better. If you are still experiencing frame loss, go ahead and change it to this. Um, this you're going to put on low. Your video memory scale, just keep this at 80%. You should be good to go. You can push it up to 90%, but I highly recommend you don't do that. Leave it at 80%. This at low, this at low, high, high, short, particle quality at high, particle quality level at low bullet impacts and sprays go ahead and put this on you do not need this i put this at low at this very moment for now just for now because we need updates for this game to be able to look better and stuff like that this plays a very big role on how your gun looks so if you really care about how your gun looks and what your gold skin looks like and stuff like that you can go ahead and put this on medium or high medium high doesn't really have a much of effect in the game and stuff like that i leave mine at low i don't care how my gun looks i want a smooth gameplay experience not a fucking trash gameplay experience all right tessellation off this on max if you have more than eight gigs of ram random access memory not vram actual ram all right if you have eight gigs of ram and lower put this at minimum all right i leave mine at max because i have 16 gigs on the montexa streaming off this at low low off off low off low 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 off and then all of these things you're going to just put them off and at low if they can't go off put them at low all right this one over here you're going to put on on or on on plus boost to make your game just run a little bit smoother depending on what type of machine you are running all right this on off this on off this on off and this at 0.00, .00. now the field of view well just in general the the view 
and camera and stuff like that. This is your own personal preference. You can go ahead and change this to whatever the hell you want to. But I do recommend putting this at a 120. Your game actually just feels a little bit better and you can see more on your right and left hand side. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the reason why I'm making this video is you can use these settings right now, just for now, until they do an update on the game to make the game run a little bit better. Obviously, they're going to do updates to make the game run much better they will do it don't worry they will do it but yeah the developers i feel are asleep and they they kind of rushed this game they made it way too quick and people are suffering right now and there's a lot of people that is wanting to play this game and they're struggling to play it because they're getting really low fps at this very moment now as you can see here uh, this is my current fps my obviously my latency my packet loss my gpu's temperature and then my gpu's timing my GPU's clock, my VRAM usage, and then my CPU timing, and then obviously the time itself, right? That's what I have over here on interface. Then you're going to scroll all the way down and put this on, all on. That's what you're going to put it on, right? Or you can customize it yourself, put the ones off that you don't need, and you should be good to go. All right, now, ladies and gentlemen, the reason why I'm making this video is if you want your game to look like I made my thumbnail, if you want to make your game look good, feel good, and all those beautiful things, this is what you're going to need to do. I'm just going to click on my Windows button and just go to my desktop. All right, now, as you can see, I'm on my desktop right now. If you want your game to look really, really good, I'm talking about the, the quality of the game. For instance, you can change how the, the color looks inside your game. So the game looks really, really good. Now, this, it's, it's very important to do it only when you play the game. Otherwise, it's going to cause you eye strain and it's going to cause you headaches. Trust me, it will cause you headaches, All right? So if you are a NVIDIA user like me, open up NVIDIA control panel just like this, and then open up your NVIDIA control panel, All right? Now, number one, I just wanna go ahead and show you this. This plays a very, very big role on the game itself. NVIDIA control panel settings. Now it says, use the advanced image settings, and then it's going to say, take me there. Then it's going to basically take you over here. Now, all you're going to need to do is copy these settings I have over here for at this very moment that you're watching this video, just copy these settings that I have over here. Go ahead and copy these settings. You can just pause the video. Now, if you're running anything lower than an RTX 2060, like a 10 series or even lower than that, go ahead and put it on performance. Please, I'm just going to let you know, please do not put it on high performance. Your game's going to look like dog trash and there's no physical difference between performance and high performance. Leave it on performance if you're running anything lower than a 10 series graphics card or you are running a 10 series graphics card. Once you are done with that, you're going to apply these settings. Then you're going to go to this which says adjust desktop color settings. You're going to go over here and then you're going to go to where it says digital vibrance. Now you're going to change your digital vibrance to about 80. I believe the sweet spot will be 75, 80, 85, 90, 95. All right, your game will look much, much different while playing the game. The quality of the game itself will look much, much different. Please go ahead and change these settings. All right, once you are done with that settings over here and you applied these settings over here, you are going to go to this over here to change resolution. You're going to scroll all the way down. You're going to go over here where it says use NVIDIA color settings. Now you're going to change this from eight if you only have 8, leave it at 8. If you have 12, put it at 12. Change this from limited to full. Make sure this is on RGB. Make sure this is on the highest, which is 32 bit, and apply these settings. Now, once you apply these settings, what it's going to do is when you jump into a game, every visualization inside the game, like the trees, the ground, the grass, the water, the gun skins, everything is going to pop out in the game. You can see enemies better. Your gameplay looks better. Everything inside the game looks better. But I highly recommend, ladies and gentlemen, once you are done applying these settings and you play your game for the time span of whatever, how long you play the game, right? Once you are done playing the game and you're just on your desktop and you're watching movies or series or you're doing work or whatever the case might be, I highly recommend you go to this over here, use the default color settings once you are done playing the game and go ahead and apply these settings and it will make everything go black on your screen and then you just say yes over here and then you close out of this like this and it will go back to its default settings ladies and gentlemen if this worked for you leave a like leave a comment subscribe to my youtube channel for your new year and ladies and gentlemen right now at this very moment call of duty warzone 2.0 right now at this very moment is completely fucking broken so don't expect much out of this game with any type of machine as always ladies and gentlemen peace out